All right, we got to talk about this laptop from hell. And I'm going to try to speak about this in a way other people haven't spoken about because I want this to be very easily digestible because I think everyone needs to be able to communicate to people in their lives, other people when you're talking politics, why this is so damning, why this is such a big deal. Well, the first one I already talked about in a previous video, basically this laptop from hell proves that the things that Trump was impeached for and you know the, all the crimes that he was alleged to have committed – Hunter and Joe Biden were the ones who actually committed these crimes. And there are receipts. There are emails. There's tangible, concrete evidence to suggest that a crime took place and it wasn't Trump. It was actually the, the Democratic uh, nominee for the president of the United States. And that, that is, of course, former Vice President Joseph Biden. But there are there are two ways to really look at the situation. So, so before I dive in, let's, let's 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 roll back the clock really quick to how this all started out. I'll try to make this really quick because this is the most boring part. Uh, uh, there was a computer repair dude who ended up receiving custody of Hunter Biden's laptop, and he was able to identify who owned the laptop once it was abandoned for uh, for 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 long enough for him to become the legal owner of this device. He goes through its contents. He makes a backup of the contents. He sends it off to the FBI. FBI, of course, does nothing. Of course, we can all speculate as to why, but who cares? And this computer repair dude, being politically savvy, being politically aware, ends up giving Steve Bannon and Rudy Giuliani uh, copies of the contents of this hard drive. And it is damning. It is so bad not even former Vice President Joseph Biden has elected to deny the contents of the laptop. There have been lawyers trying to retrieve whatever evidence that Rudy Giuliani and his people have. It's getting really bad. And there's, there appears to be more questions than answers to all the things revolving around this story. Why did the FBI not do anything? If there's nothing illegal or illicit on the laptop, why didn't the FBI return the laptop? You know, those kinds of things. And it's like, well, did Hunter Biden really forget about this laptop and the bill was only $85? What exactly was the problem with the laptop? Uh, you know, they say it was water damage, but, you know, whatever. Um, there's just a lot of questions uh, surrounding this, so a lot of people are suspicious. But, you know, given the response from the establishment, uh, the, the establishment media, the fake news industry, given the response from the, the Silicon Valley cartel with their, their brazen and disgusting censorship, and given the response from Joseph Biden himself, would lead me to believe that this is real. Joseph Biden and Hunter Biden were engaged in illegal activities. Uh, the, the best way to surmise their actions during the Obama administration, the failed Obama administration, would be corruption clear-cut case of corruption so that corruption came in the form of multi-million dollar deals which hunter biden ran point on hunter biden was a private citizen at the time joseph biden was the vice president number two number one was obama that's how that's how deep this thing runs now what does this say about joseph biden former vice president biden well, it says a lot, obviously, but but let's just let's set aside a couple things. I understand that Joe Biden is a disgusting creep who sniffs the hair of little girls. I understand that he pinches their nipples and does all sorts of disgusting things. He has a me too problem. Hashtag me too problem. And apparently so does Hunter Biden. But Hunter Biden, on the other hand, has been implicated. There appears to be evidence that he has been engaged in illicit and illegal activities involving underage humans meaning below the age of 18 i'm trying to be appropriate here so my video doesn't get struck now let's be fair that's not joe biden's fault joe biden did not commit these crimes someone else did however is this not a testament to the poor judgment of joseph biden the former vice president of the united states is this not damning for a biden a future biden presidency does this not give us a glimpse of what a Biden presidency would look like? How can we trust Joseph Biden to lead the United States when he is making these really terrible decisions like having a drug addict, a pervert, possibly a, 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 in an abuser of children do his bidding? He's using this disgusting individual to, to run point on, the, on these multi-million dollar deals. 
And now it's blowing up in his face. The, the official story is this laptop was delivered to the FBI, but Rudy Giuliani, Trump's lawyer, has a copy of it, and now it is leaking to the press. Many members of the press have seen it. They are saying things like Hunter Biden is child-obsessed. Now there's text messages that were published by Rudy Giuliani. It's mainstream now. That would suggest that there's a problem. I mean, the, the, the kind of problem that, that, that Anthony Weiner didn't have. Anthony Weiner went to prison for lesser things. What do you think is going to happen? Hunter Biden might go to prison, guys. But this is a testament to, to Joseph Biden's terrible judgment. But there's another way to look at this. There's another way to look at this, unfortunately. And it's even worse. It's even more damning than what I just said. Imagine this. Joe Biden doesn't give a shit. He doesn't care if we think he is corrupt. He doesn't care if we think what is happening with his family looks bad. He doesn't care if his son is a drug addict. He's going to send him off into the world to do all these deals with these foreign nations, many of which are hostile to America and America's interests. But it doesn't matter because Joe Biden's family is being enriched. Joe Biden is adding a few zeros in his bank account. And you know why he doesn't care? Because the lying press, the fake news industry, is never going to hold them responsible. They're never going to ask the tough questions. The pedophiles in Hollywood, they'll get their camera crews, they'll get their writers, you know, they're, they're, they'll get all the talent in, in, in the industry, and they'll, they'll run ads, they'll do uh, tweet campaigns, they'll do fundraisers, they'll go out and defend former Vice President Biden. The Democratic Party isn't going to hold them accountable. Hell, most of them are, are, are engaged in this kind of activity themselves. Is Obama going to do anything? Of course not. Obama is one of the most corrupt, evil presidents of the United States that the United States has ever had. Obama is a terrible president. They, they want to say, oh, his presidency was scandal-free. No, it wasn't. The dude's a tyrant. He's almost like Bush, but probably worse. The only reason why it was scandal-free is because the lying press, the fake news industry, ran cover and interference for Obama. Pedophile Hollywood was in bed with the Obamas. Why do you think Obama's getting all these lucrative Netflix deals? Why do you think uh, all these Democrats in, in Hollywood, or, or why all these uh, pedophiles in Hollywood are Democrats? They all defended them. There was, it was just this illusion that everything was okay when it wasn't. So maybe it doesn't matter how bad it looks as long as Joe Biden and Hunter don't scream at the top of their lungs, ha ha, look at all this money we got, idiots. We're so corrupt. As long as they don't say that, they're fine. Obviously, they never said things like that. They said the opposite. But the evidence would suggest otherwise. And now there's all this nonsense about, like, dude, this, the Biden camp is going to take a fat L for this incident and it was honestly, in my opinion, made worse by the fact that the entire fake news industry or the, the entire Silicon Valley cartel, Reddit, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Twitter, yada, 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 all of them are censoring this information that is basically making people, you know, seek it out or want to seek it out even more. You know, it makes you think, it's like, are they even, like, try, are they trying to help him or not help him? You know, I don't know. Well, obviously, they're trying to help him because they're banning people. They're censoring people's speech, which is why I'm trying to be very careful with my words here because I don't want them to censor this video. I just want to give people the, the, the perspective that, that I have uh, in terms of looking at this laptop from hell situation. Uh, either, either Joe Biden has the worst judgment in Washington, D.C., or he's just so brazen in his corruption, he knows he can get away with it because he knows the crony establishment will protect him. That's honestly what I see. And in my estimation, that's exactly what is happening. Even now as we speak, people are scrambling to defend the corruption. It's not even just about defending Joe Biden, former Vice President Biden. It's about defending their entire lies the last four, four and a half years. They said... 
President Trump, or at the time candidate Trump, is corrupt. He is evil. He's working with these foreign governments to subvert our republic. He is going to change the, the outcome of the election. It is going to be stolen from Hillary Clinton. Look at this polling data. He has no chance in hell. He's obviously cheating. This, this, and that. And then, of course, throughout his entire presidency, you had that, that dickhead Mueller, that, that corrupt, evil fuck Mueller, and you had all this, uh, you had the impeachment. They accused President Trump of crimes that he never committed, but were committed by people like Hunter Biden and former Vice President Biden. They have to defend themselves. The narrative is done. It's over. This is it. It's, it's, it's been confirmed. People like Rene DiResta look like fucking morons because they swore up and down. They went on Joe Rogan's podcast. They went on Sam Harris's podcast and were speaking all sorts of lies about President Trump, about the election integrity, about the, the process. And, and now it's like, I, I would just, I'm going to, I'm going to check up uh, on Rene DiResta and see what she's up to. Uh, you know, basically she, the things that even her company were involved in doing, she accused President Trump of doing it. I even got retards in my Discord who totally ate up the, the, the bullshit from, from, from her, her Twitter feed. They ate up all the propaganda from her firm that she works for. These people look dumb, man. These people look really stupid. There's no way to... Sl Any way you slice this, it looks terrible for Joe Biden. It looks terrible for Obama. That's it, man. That's all she wrote. I Again, guys, Democrats, Libertarians, Green Party people, we need to let pedophile Hollywood die. The propaganda arm of the DNC can and has to be destroyed. And we can only do that by voting for Trump. If Joe Biden gets elected and he becomes the president of the United States, he's going to bail out the pedophiles in Hollywood. He is going to protect uh, Ghislaine Maxwell. She will never, she's either going to die or she'll never see, her, see a day in court. And she will not implicate the people that have been involved in, in these disgusting crimes against these underage females. Absolutely sickening. We have to vote for Trump. We have to support the President of the United States. Since the very beginning, they have lied to us. They lied about the so-called Russian propaganda, this, this scheme to subvert democracy and, and steal elections and all this nonsense that reads out of a terrible spy novel. None of it happened. But there was blatant corruption and it was happening under the Obama regime. I support the President of the United States and I implore you to do the same. You know, I, I guess it's too late to register to vote. But... Um, you know, in some places, you got, like, same-day registration, whatever. Look it up. Go out. And on, I think it was November 3rd. Show up and you, you don't have... Just be, if you're a Democrat or a Libertarian or a Green Party person, you don't have to be a registered Republican to, to vote for Trump. Anybody can vote for Trump. I voted for Trump as a registered Democrat for the first time. This is honestly the first time I've ever voted for a Republican. And it was Trump in 2016, in November. I was with uh, a bunch of these uh, MAGA bros on Discord. We were, we were all following different uh, streams. And it, it was the time of my life. I remember going into work the next day. People were crying as they were coming in because they didn't like the outcome of the election. No, oh, my dog just showed up. He scared me. So, uh, yeah, anyways, it was, it was magical. And uh, we're going to do it again. I'm going to be up all night with the boys. We're going to be following the election. It's going to be wild. It's going to be exciting. And... Um, we gotta say no to this. We we gotta we gotta cancel out the corruption, guys. We gotta enough is enough. I'm sick of it. I can't stand it. Uh, I can't stomach it anymore. Uh, you know, Trump 2020. Peace out.